Not quite sure what to do with ourselves with a clear sky here. So we're gonna go eat breakfast and drink coffee and think about it. My only regret is I have to get out of my sleeping bag for this. So this is the Topo Print Jolly Gear and uh, the guy admitted on his website they had a misprint issue. I bought this knowing that it was gonna fade. I thought it was gonna fade a little slower. This is a week later. I'm kinda tempted to buy one of the uh, correctly printed ones, but through out your budget. Okay, taters, time to leave your nice hotel room. <laughs> that that has kind of an aroma. We should really talk to the front desk. <laughs> Smells like stinky hike. Oh, wait. Not sure if that's a glorious sight or a horrifying sight. The burning ball of hellfire has returned. Greenbelt Park does apparently have a really good campground, and if we had been slightly less soggy, we probably would have stayed there. <laughs> We got a little excited when we saw that sign, but it turns out it does, the, the route we have anyway does follow the road. So as I was saying, ah, pavement once again. <laughs> it's been so long, nice and solid, knee whacking, foot destroying. And this is just kind of disgustingly nice. Keep commenting on, you know, we'll be on roads and yeah, the roads are kind of rough sometimes, but then you hit some trail section and you get a couple hours of a break, then you're back on a road, then who knows? I mean, I've got Dolly Sods and Harper Ferry coming up somewhere. So today, despite the fact we were just in a hotel, the way it works out, uh, we have somebody in uh, Capital District of DC who uh, has been offering us a place to stay. We're gonna do that. I haven't had laundry since I started. That'll be an opportunity. Basically, we can get a full day, get that done, and then get back out. I always really wish I could spread the inside stays out more because I would rather be camping, all the things being equal, but sometimes you just take advantage of what you can take advantage of. Jen and I were talking yesterday, and the fact that that hotel, we could walk to it, made it feel more authentic or less of less artificial versus, okay, we stop, we take a ride or a taxi off trail. It's all cutting hairs, but what you gonna do? Good news, Jen was really getting nostalgic for the road, so we found another road to walk across. Future trails, they exist in the fever dreams of trail builders, Jen. Someday there shall be a trail here. I think that was most of the Condor Trail. <laughs> Wasn't that actually part of it? Like literally the guy that designed it, this is where he would go if there was a trail. There's not, it's hell on earth, but if there was. I'm suddenly wishing we were on a canoe because that would be fun, particularly with Jen screaming the entire way. <laughs> <laughs> I would basically, you know, need to be moving quick. Ah. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my God, this is amazing. I mean, we're, we're not using it because I'm used to having to find plugs, but cool. We know there's more rain coming for the forecast, but we're enjoying the sun while we have it. And it shouldn't be as intense as what we went through. What you're missing are the happy sounds when we get on something like this that is not the side of a busy road with 60 mile an hour traffic. We're like, oh, oh, oh. which gets awkward because there was just a whole group of like little kids going by. So they go by, they're giving a side eye and then all of a sudden we're like, oh, oh, oh. We found Taters a Fox.
long last, we have found a turtle for taters. <laughs> We're just told by some locals that the rain is gonna start at noon to one o'clock, so we're enjoying the sun while we have it. Old age is setting in back there in Tatersville. She has an increasing hard time keeping up with me. Me being the nice supportive partner I am, I go like this or <laughs> hold her hand. And then it's like, oh look, we're just strolling <laughs> through the park. Yeah, I literally have to jog to keep up with his natural stride. But I'm glad he has now hit his natural stride. It's a limp. My natural stride is a limp. I hike a little faster, but partially it's because my feet hurt. So part of me is going, limp off the left foot, jump onto the right, jump off the right onto the left. That might be the Capitol building over there. And just as the rain arrives, <laughs> literally, uh, we go across the bridge and through town. We think we have about six miles to get to the CNO with some uh, sights to see along the way. Lots of cyclists, joggers. We've only had a few people ask what we're up to. I was kind of hoping with the patch on my back, I would look more approachable and get more people uh, coming up and just asking what I was doing. But I guess it's because taters look so mean. Yes. See all those little windows? So we've been seeing these. I have no idea what they are. Most of them are trashed. Here at last. Behold taters in the land of the tourists. So many tourists. For somebody who hikes with me, Jen is amusingly obsessed with not carrying her pack. I just threw it over my shoulder because she's currently fondling my falafel over there or something like that. She's like, oh no. <laughs> so many tourists. So we're just walking along and me being the practical soul I am, I was like, where are the bathrooms? I think we found them.
We get to go bang on the window, the uh, bars like a monkey, Jen. playing tourists in the rain now. Well, we really can't complain. We were spared a lot longer than we thought based on the forecast. <laughs> okay, let's go see the statue. And that was slightly crowded due to this little uh, weather burst we had. And having completed all of our goals, we are now walking out of town. This would be the mighty Potomac. Oh, wow. wow, 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 wow. Oh yes, look at all that debris. As that jet skier said once upon a time, it be ripping, yo. Also, apparently that's the Watergate Hotel. And at long last, the CNO Canal. Almost. Woo! So being experienced Mississippi people, we're seeing locks on the uh, map and kind of fascinated. They're little tiny baby locks though. <laughs> and they do have signs for this trail. So yeah, not quite 38 million gallons. just barely fit through the locks. Yeah. Well, see, when you say river walk, I think the San Antonio River Walk, yeah. which very much has nice spots and not so nice. And we ended up on the wrong side. Turns out we want to be on the other side of the bridge. We ended up on a road with uh, no shoulder or sidewalk. So this actually seems to run parallel to that dirt canal, which is up there, which had a view of basically the uh, road. So we came here. At this point, we have a place to stay tonight, however, we need to get picked up by a Lyft driver. So we are trying to find a spot where a Lyft driver can find us. <laughs> See, there is a uh, bird over there that's just riding the log. Yep. <laughs> See, I want that to be me. So many bikes. And this is where we're gonna get our ride. Ironically, we're going back into DC because <laughs> that's where our offer of a place to stay is. The uh, campgrounds here start in another 12 miles or so. So tomorrow we will be camping. Oh, <laughs> whoa.